the GI Case Thrashing Machine Company came up with a design and they thought that they needed to build the largest steam traction engine in the world to compete with any competitor in, the, in that arena space at that time. What they came up with was this engine. They built nine 150 horse cases and for many reasons to do with manufacturing and dissatisfaction with different parts, they decided to bring the engine back to the factory. Well, they decided to instead build the 32 horse case, which then became the 110. But the 150 lived on in the memories of all those that had been involved with it, and especially one man named Corey Anderson. In 1907, when they built the prototype engine, they took the engine out behind the case factories, and there was a 15% grade up a street there, and they said, well, hey, let's see, uh, let's break this engine in here. We've got 460 horse case steam engines in the back that are getting ready to be shipped to Oklahoma. Uh, let's put them on behind the 150 and uh, just break her in a little bit. And so they took a picture of that event in 1907, and that picture went into the folklore and magazines and Thresherman albums for years to come and uh, outlived everybody that had ever been associated with the 150. Well, that picture was an inspiration to Corey Anderson whenever he was a young boy in his teens and he was working on a 65 horse case and restoring his first steam engine and he thought, he dreamed that he needed to be the one to bring the 150 horse case back to life. And so over the course of the next 15 years of his life, he dreamed, he had a vision, he put it, executed a plan. Uh, he uh, became a pattern maker. He was a master machinist. And he single-handedly, with, with the help of, of many friends, uh, put together this engine uh, from nothing but the designs that the case factory had had that they found in the back room of the case plan on a visit uh, many, many years ago. And so all these pieces came together over the last 111 years and last fall, at September 7th, in Andover, South Dakota, they unveiled this engine to a, a very impressed crowd that most people never thought that uh, this engine would ever be seen again, it would ever be built. But Corey uh, defied the odds and uh, he put a plan into action and uh, what you see here today in this demonstration that you're about to see was uh, done 112 years ago at the Case Factory in uh, Racine, Wisconsin. So I believe, uh, I just heard the pop go off just a little bit ago, so she's sitting at 175 pounds. Uh, she's ready to go. All the engines are in line. Um, they're going to come up this hillside and make this turn up here and uh, recreate this act. So get your cameras ready. I believe you guys are about to see a show.
I think we need to do a couple more hot laps, Corey. and see if Corey wants to make a run down the hill and do this again. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being a part of uh, Western Minnesota Steam Thrasher Reunion, the 2019 JIK Heritage Foundation Expo.